decisions. And good decisions are sometimes hard because, well, you know, do you do your homework and your chores at home? How many have homework or chores, things to do at home, chores, a lot? Yeah, I hear you. All right, so homework and chores at home or play with friends. Yeah, right? Playing with friends is a lot Usually that's more fun than doing homework and chores. But that's a hard decision because who's going to do your homework and your chores if you don't do them? My sister would do it. Your sister would, yeah. Um, But they're your chores and your homework. That's right. Ah, Homework, play, play baseball, do homework. Play baseball, do homework. Ooh. How about this? How about this? Uh. Eat broccoli or eat ice cream? Ice cream. Broccoli is much better for you. Uh, it's like makes you healthy, gives you a nice skin, makes your hair grow, all kind of keeps you from getting sick. Broccoli, ice cream doesn't do any of that stuff. Yeah, I think ice cream. Okay, so all right, I, we have to have broccoli sometimes. How about uh, on Sunday morning, get out of bed early to go to church or sleep in and not go to church? Yeah, I know. See, that's uh, right. How, it's so hard to make good decisions. How do we do? Sometimes we don't make good decisions. We make bad decisions. But sometimes we do make good decisions. Even you as kids, I know you make good decisions. And when we make good decisions, it's because God is leading us to make good decisions. How about God? He has to make decisions too. But God always makes good decisions because he's perfect and he loves us a lot and he hears our prayers and he can't do anything wrong. There's a Bible verse that says, in all things God works for our good in all things. So even when you're working on your homework and your chores and you really much be rather playing baseball or having fun, God's working. He's working and he's going to make it for your good. So next time you're faced with a decision and you're not sure what to do, remember that God always makes good decisions. And maybe you say a prayer and say, God, help, help me make a good decision. And then you can make good decisions. That's all I got for you today. Should I keep talking for another 10 or 15 minutes? Oh, thank you. I love these children. All right. I'll get, I tell you what, I'll catch you next time. All right. Let's pray. Fold your hands. Fold your hands, ladies. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, God, for giving me decisions because you helped me grow and learn how to do your will and help others. I'm sorry for the times I haven't made good decisions. Please forgive me. And in Jesus' name, help me make better decisions from now on. Help me to pray to you and ask your guidance. And thank you for being my God. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 All right.